Today, guys, we are going to fix this computer right here that is having this issue. Reboot and select proper boot device or insert boot media in selected boot device and press any key. There are several reasons why this computer is running into that issue. Number one, it could have a corrupted operating system. That's the reason why the computer cannot boot into that device. Number two, it could be a bad hard drive for the operating system is installed, so it cannot detect that hard drive. That's why it's giving that issue. Number three, it could be a loose power cable that powers the hard drive or loose SATA cable that is connected to the hard drive. So let's go ahead and check that one and verify what is causing the issue. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do here is uh, restart this one and try to check the boot settings in the BIOS. If you can see, there are menu here. And then I'm just going to go to F12, boot menu. We only have a one detectable uh, drive here. This is the DVD room of this um, computer. You can detect this one, but no hard drive. So what I'm going to do is go to setup or the buy settings and try to check if we can see the hard drive. If the hard drive is not here, it means to say that something's wrong inside. So go here. You can see the boot options here. There's only one drive that is seen. Since the hard drive is not detected, let's go ahead and check the hard drive. So I'm just going to power this one off. This is the hard drive here, this is the power. So the power is tight, the cable is also tight. So after checking this one, Let's go ahead and boot this one again and try to see if it is working. And I don't know if you can hear a ticking sound coming from the hard drive here. If you have a ticking sound or a scratching sound on your hard drive, there's definitely something wrong with it. Even though if it's still working, it's just a matter of time before it fails. As I turn on this computer, there's no change with it. The only thing I can see is the DVD room. Even though if I go to the BIOS setup, I can still see the DVD room here, no change at all. So what we're going to do guys is turn off this computer and remove the hard drive quickly and easily. All right. It's a Toshiba two terabytes of space. One of the things you need to take note with hard drives, this is January, 2015. The probable lifespan of hard drives is around three to five years, something like that. This is already seven years old. And if this computer has been used for that long, well, hard drives really fail. I have a Seagate, which is not bad, one terabyte of space. So we're going to replace it with this one and install the operating system. Okay, let's go ahead and power this one on. Try to detect if we can see the hard drive. There you go. Go to the BIOS in C if we have the hard drive present here. So come. Let's navigate to that boot options. As you can see, there are already two. That's definitely the hard drive that we just installed. That's the Seagate, as you can see it here. Since this is a newly installed hard drive into this computer, we need to install a fresh copy of Windows 10 or any operating system. I've prepared a USB stick which is bootable in Windows 10 so that we can initiate the installation into this computer. I have plugged that one into the computer and we're going to jump into the boot menu. As you can see it here, there's a USB UEFI Windows 10. So we're going to select this one and install Windows 10. Now, uh, we're just doing this one to really verify and complete the repair because there's no choice for us if every time you're going to change a hard drive of a computer, of course, you need to install a fresh copy of Windows 10. All of the process on this installation will be um, fast forward so that I can show that I did everything and kind of install everything into this computer. Now, if you have any questions on how you are going to install Windows 10 or any form of operating system, just drop a comment down below and um, I'll try to see if we'll make um, um, a tutorial for installing 
operating systems on computers. All right. Now, depending on the specifications of the computer you're trying to install an operating system, it will definitely take around 30 to 1 hour 30 minutes to complete the whole installation process of operating system. All right, that's 100% done. So roughly after 30 minutes, guys, we were able to change the hard drive of this computer. As you can see, it's working. It's Windows 10. I have shown you a quick way of how I installed the operating system. This is the bad hard drive that we have here. It's time to close this computer and try to install applications that the user can use. I hope you have learned something from this video, guys, and hope to see you in my next video. And by the way, if you are not yet subscribed, hit the subscribe button and wait for more videos to come. See ya.